David Falken. I am Glacier Expert at Swiss Federal Office of Environment. Don't switch off. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to explain to you how this great mass of ice behind me is melting at an alarm rate and why diplomats at the climate conference in Paris must sit up and pay attention. So, let's start by looking at how this glacier has retreated. This is the village of Gletsch, currently below the glacier. But in 1600, the ice came all the way to this point. By 8056, it had melted back around 300 meters and by 2010, it receded by around 2000 meters, all the way up to the lip of the rock on the mountain we can see here. And this photo taken in 1890. Look again, now nothing is left but a scar in the rock. So, what happens to all the melting ice? Well, take a look at this. The Rhone Glacier Lake. It formed only in the last 10 years. It currently holds 10 million liters of water. Water that will add to the rise of global sea levels. You can hear water? So much meltwater in November here. You can see here a lot of meltwater at the beginning of November. It's not normal, it's crazy. Here you can see face to face the climate change. So in conclusion, the Rhone Glacier and many others in Switzerland will have almost vanished by the end of the century. Also, diplomats in Paris won't be able to reverse rising temperatures. They must negotiate a new agreement to cope with the consequences of our changing climate. <laughs>